Okay, this is going to be our scene on the Carbapenems. And it's going to be represented by this guy over here who woke up in the morning and realized that his head was a car pen. He was a car pen for Carbapenem. And the reason why he's holding a dime over here is to help us to remember the mnemonic for the four primary types of Carbapenems. And these are Doripenem, Emipenem, Meropenem, and Inertapenem. Which is really easy actually because they all end in Penem. And in this scene, he's chasing the ambulance. He's trying to get to a life-threatening emergency. And that's because the carbapenems are used to treat life-threatening infections. And this is because they have such widespread use, as we're going to see soon, they have such widespread use that they're usually limited to life-threatening infections. Or after other drugs have failed. But let's first talk about method of action. So over here we see these PBPs, which he's stepping on as he runs. This is going to remind us that carbapenems work by binding to multiple PBPs, penicillin binding proteins. And by doing so, they prevent the cell wall of the bacteria from forming. They prevent cell wall synthesis. Which microbes are carbapenems effective against? Well, as we mentioned, a lot of them. Over here we see lots of gram-positive, because of purple, gra purple represents gram-positive, we see lots of gram-positive cocci. Carbapenems are used to treat gram-positive cocci. They're also used to treat gram-negative rods, and hence the gram-negative rods we see over here. One primary example is Pseudomonas aeruginosa, although it's important to mention that ertapenem, which is a newer carbapenem, does not cover Pseudomonas aeruginosa. And then we note that some of these bacteria are here are covering their mouths. They're covering their mouths. Covering their mouths because they're anaerobes. Carbapenems are used to treat aerobes as well as anaerobes. Okay, now let's talk about adverse effects. This random guy running is going to remind us of the adverse effects of the carbapenems. I don't know why he's running here, but he is memorable. So let's talk about him. So the first thing we know is that he's having these seizures. This is going to remind us of the seizures that, due to the CNS toxicity that carbapenems could cause. We note that his stomach is red. It's red because there's a rash on it, and this reminds us of the rash that carbapenems can cause. But it's also red because he is in GI distress. GI distress is another adverse effect, which may include diarrhea and vomiting. Okay, so we're going to end off this video with two really high yield facts. The first is that imipenem is a broad-based beta-lactamase resistant carbapenem which is always administered with psilostatin, which is an inhibitor of renal dehydropeptidase 1. And this is done in order to decrease inactivation of the carbapenem in the renal tubules. And for this, there's a mnemonic with imipenem, the kill is lastin with psilostatin. Okay, and the second high yield fact that we want to know is that meropenem has decreased risk of seizures and is stable to dehydropeptidase 1. Okay, so if you want to decrease the risk of seizures, meropenem is the way to go. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this scene on the carbapenems. Stay tuned for our next video in pharmacology.